<laughs> oh no, I went over it. <laughs> oh darn it. <laughs> uh, he is out. We had it too I loose. I gonna throw in the saddle. <laughs> Hello friends, good to have you with us today. Blake and I are gonna work on a little project today. This steer back here, those of you that watch our channel know, his name is Tolman. And we like this, little, this guy and he's getting pretty big, but those of you that know, a steer's not worth much except for to eat, unless you can do something with them and so Blake, has dreams of teaching this thing to ride. So we're gonna put our first lesson on here. Let's see how it goes. Tolman was born here on the farm. We bought his mom at the auction as a three striper. That means she was in her third trimester of pregnancy. And his mom was super mean. She would charge the fence and she was just mean as could be. And so Ooh. Well, mama's getting more and more protective. Now that she's passed her delivery, pain but she sure did good on this little bull calf and baby's standing up and feeling good I was even hopping around a little bit and so when she had this baby we went ahead and took her back to the auction because we didn't want her hurting someone. And we ended up raising Tolman on goats and with a bottle. So anyway, Blake's planning on putting a saddle on today. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> now Tolman's pretty gentle and we actually put a saddle on him back when he was a little calf. But how long has it been, do you think, since? Uh, probably like eight to 10 months. Probably eight months ago. I wonder how old Tolman is now. I don't know, we could look at pictures. Yeah, we'll have to look at pictures and see. <laughs> Saddles just don't fit cows the same way. <laughs> Yeah, he's a fat thing, isn't he? Do you want me to grab that? Oh, yeah, I'd just... take it up as much as you can on that side. And it, <laughs> that, that one may be too long. That should be Belly fits it. <laughs> So we're thinking if we could actually train him to ride, it'd be kind of cool and unique enough that it would warrant us keeping him. It would justify the feed bill. So Blake's like, I'll take on the challenge. That'll be fun. He's doing good. Is that going to be small enough? You're doing good, Tolman. 
if you learn teach us or if you let us teach you to ride it may save your life here his mom had some pretty long horns i think she was a, a long horn i don't know that she's purebred or anything but she definitely had some longhorn in her <laughs> he's like uh i don't know what to think here <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> i don't think tolman wants to be ridden <laughs> he's acting like he just died on us Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, Come Tolman. On. <laughs> Are you going to hurt your back? Go ahead and pull his head up right here. He's not hurt, for those of you wondering. I promise, he's just... Uh... Being a goop. <laughs> Come on, boy. He's faking dead because he doesn't want to do anything. Come on. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, Tolman. <laughs> when he laid down, the saddle went up over his withers. Cows aren't built like horses. They don't have withers to hold the saddle on there. Here, slide it back a ways. <laughs> Maybe don't cinch it quite as tight this time. Let's just get him used to having it on and walking. Yeah, we've been watching some videos of people that have taught cows to ride and some of them don't have a britching strap on the back. A britching strap goes back here around their butt and kind of holds the saddle from falling over their, their neck. And some of the people that I've seen ride them online don't have that, but others have. So maybe it depends how the cow's built. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't you dare lay down again. Hey, hey, he hey, is so hey, funny. Hey. <laughs> he lays down. He does not like that on him. Gosh, <laughs> Gosh, you. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> he is not hurt. I promise everybody. Dude, He's just being a wimp here. Okay, go ahead and lead him out there in the light where oh, we're here in the shade because this time of year the sun goes down so quickly. Dude, <laughs> there's a hay bale right there. Come on. Come on, Tolman. He is funny with that cinch around him. He's just so uncomfortable. He doesn't realize he can walk and have something. It's like first time you tighten your belt and you don't think you can move. <laughs> That's crazy. Come on, Tolman, you got this. I just swing. Oh, saddle's so loose. Just swing into it so that you're not putting any pressure on it. <laughs> Wait, let me come to this side. <laughs> okay, here we go. He probably weighs about 500 pounds. What? He probably weighs about 500 pounds, but... All right, there you go. First ride on Tolman. <laughs> First ride on Tolman. Look at that. Tolman doesn't know what to think. <laughs> He didn't buck though. Hey. He did good. I well, he knows how to buck. why don't you just lead him around a little bit more so he knows that he can walk with that cinch on there?
There you go. He's doing good. Go ahead and just lead him and let's take him in a circle around. Sure. <laughs> I'm starting to learn that he can move with that cinch on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh no, it went over it. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> uh, he is out. We had it too I'm loose. He's gonna throw in the saddle. <laughs> Not only did he do good on his first ride, he unsaddled himself. That's pretty impressive. So, yeah, maybe we need to just teach him to ride bareback. Just bareback? Yeah. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna slide forward like the saddle. <laughs> I don't know how you stay back. <laughs> I don't know, because it goes like a triangle like this. Yeah, that's weird. Hey, is what you do is you sit on them and then you put your foot here and foot here. <laughs> let's, <Yeah>. let's see it. <laughs> All right, go for it. Shoot. I ain't got down. Sit back a ways. <laughs> Well, he did good for his first day of training here. He didn't buck, and he realized he can walk with a cinch on him. So let's go ahead and bring him back to the pen. Okay. If they like our videos, what should they do? Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Yep. Thanks for watching our videos. Hopefully you enjoy seeing all the crazy things we do around here. And I'm sure glad Blake's around because otherwise I'd have to do all this crazy stuff. So. <laughs> I want to see you ride him, Dad. Yeah, I don't think Tolman wants me to ride him. He weighs about 500 pounds, but we'll wait till he's about a thousand pounds before I ride him. So. Good boy. So what do you all think? Should we eat Tolman? Or should we train him to ride? Or, or are there any other ideas for us? We'd love to not have to butcher him or sell him. But on the other hand, it's not, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to feed one all the time. And he's getting big enough, he eats plenty of food, so. Anyway, if you've ever had luck training a steer to do anything, let us know. But he's he's been fun. So, what do you think, Blake? I'm gonna ride him. <laughs> you already did. Oh, well, like ride him, ride him. Ride him, ride him. Like rope on him. <laughs> well, I don't doubt you. If anyone can do it, Blake can train him. So anyway, it's been a fun day. Tell us what you think and give us any ideas if you've ever trained a steer to ride or whatever. <laughs> <laughs>